Hitler had hijacked Germany's democracy. He was given extraordinary powers to temporarily suspend democratic procedures in order to get things done. A dictator now in charge of a mighty industrial nation, Hitler and his team began to lay out his plan for Germany and the world. Despite this new focus on jobs and the German worker, the Nazis had no use for labor unions. Well, fascism basically hates everything communist, or Bolshevik, as they call it. So they would not uh, like trade unions. They were not within the frame of the fascist uh, movement. And so what the Nazis did, uh, one year into their government, they declared May Day, a holiday for the first time. The union celebrated. And the next day, when they were hung over, more or less, they smashed the unions. They replaced the now abolished unions with the Nazi party controlled German labor front, which all workers had to join. Hitler spent large amounts of state money on a comprehensive state welfare program called the National Socialist People's Welfare. Despite having the term socialist in the party name, Hitler was a friend of industry. He privatized many industries and the corporations that had supported his candidacy continued to back him. Corporations would support the Nazi government of Germany because it was good for their profits. I think, you know, bigger corporations, the steel industry, for example, in Germany as a big one, they were uh, afraid of communism for sure, but they also actually supported Hitler because it uh, was easier for them to kind of make their business within a stable government. 